for you. I'm Dr. Tahmini Islam. Uh, today I'm going to present a part of our research work that we have done so far in uh, University of Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, my today's presentation entitled as Biosafety Data Generation from the Putatively Transformed Peanut Using AFP Gene. As we all know that uh, peanut is the one of the most important uh, species among legumes, uh, securing third largest uh, source of edible oil. Uh, seed contains uh, 40 to 60 percent oil, 20 to 40 percent protein, and 10 to 20 percent of carbohydrate. It has the ability to fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere, uh, thus it improves the soil fertility as well. Uh, usually in Bangladesh, it is grown in the marginal land, mainly known as the chore areas. This important crop actually uh, faces several biotic and abiotic stresses. For example, fungal, foreal diseases, varial, bacterial and viral diseases, insect pests, uh, as well as several abiotic stresses, namely, I can say, uh, drought, salinity, water logging, high temperature, low pH, and lo low temperature as well. Sometimes the devastation is so severe that around uh, about 50% yield loss has happened. So keeping these things in mind, we designed our this present uh, uh, investigation under the following objectives. Development of genotype-independent agrobacteria-mediated genetic transformation system for local peanut varieties using selectable and screenable marker genes. Introduction of desired fungal disease resistance gene construct into a high-yielding peanut variety. Molecular analysis of putatic transgenic plants using appropriate molecular techniques. And finally, generation of biosafety data from the putatively transformed peanut plants. This is the, our working strategy. Uh, this is, uh, it is noteworthy there to mention here that Dhaka University has an institutional biosafety committee in-house. So as a part of that, uh, in every step of our research work, we have uh, followed the biosafety guidelines. First of all, we have established a very good uh, in vitro regeneration system for the local peanut varieties, uh, which is the prerequisite for, uh, uh, for a stable transformation system. Later on, we have established an agrobacterium mediated genetic transformation system with a, uh, with a marker gene that is GAS. After that, uh, confirming, confirming the inventor regeneration system as well as the transformation system with a marker gene, we moved on to for the transformation with a, our gene of interest that is antifungal protein. Uh, we are kindly, uh, this construct actually kindly provided by Dr. V. S. Reddy from ICGEB. We have done the molecular analysis for the T1 transgenic lines and uh, confirmed several transgenic lines for uh, peanut variety. Uh, as a biosafety guidelines, it is very important to make the de to develop and uh, generate the transgenic lines under content condition. Later on, we have already uh, uh, followed the biosafety guidelines in our research part, and we are now maintaining our T1 generations under the. Uh, contained condition in a double lead net house that is over here. We can see you can see our T1 transgenic lines over here. Uh, for the maintenance of T1 transgenic, uh, any transgenic plants, proper leveling is very important. So we are taking care of the proper leveling as well as the adequate safety measures to collection of the seeds, uh, for the preservation of the seeds to the, of the transgenic lines in a safe place. And also uh, some uh, the debris or the waste materials that produce from the plants, we are destructing those things by uh, either by autoclaving or by burning. And uh, as a biotechnologist or any scientist, you can know that uh, recording of data is very important. So proper recording, uh, we are recording in the, our data proper, uh, properly so that we can use these things pr precisely in our for further use. Uh, this is for today. If you want to know anything more, then you can uh, please do visit my poster so that we can exchange our information. I would like to thank Dhaka University, USD, and South Asian Biosafety Program. Thank you very much.